today, the situation at the Orlando International Airport is better with airlines getting back on track. But now, MCO says three of its top 10 busiest spring break travel days will fall on this upcoming weekend. So what can you do to avoid a traveling disaster? Who's looking out for you to prevent another meltdown so you can get where you are going? News 6 anchor Eric Von Inken is at MCO getting those answers for us and getting results. So first, the problem, 351 flights delayed this weekend, 133 canceled, most of them Southwest, which to be fair reminds us they have the largest market share here at MCO. They blamed it on something we often hear, pop-up thunderstorms and airspace constraints. So what does that mean? Well, in short, it's spring break. From now until Easter, the airport is expecting close to 200,000 people a day passing through here. And it's not just the busiest spring break expected ever. This is the busiest time of the year here at this airport. So right now, all it takes is one little hiccup to put people and planes out of place. So what is the FAA doing about all of this? Well, I asked them. The Federal Aviation Administration has been notoriously short staffed, especially right up there in the air traffic control towers with its controllers. Well, that can limit the number of planes in any given airspace at any given time, adding to delays. I emailed the FAA public affairs specialist in Washington, D.C., asking these questions for you right here. For the traveling public, that's you planning to fly over spring break. Does the FAA anticipate this will persist or improve over the next few weeks? And what can you, the traveling public, do about this, if anything? Well, the FAA pretty much ignored my questions. They wrote me back one line here. For real-time air traffic updates, please see this website. So what can you do, if anything? Well, we asked the experts at Going.com. It's a travel website dedicated to helping people save money on airfare. They have three travel hacks for you. First of all, if you have not bought your ticket yet, they say buy a morning flight and buy a direct flight. That's less chance of disruption and higher chance of on-time departure. Number two, the second you find out your flight is delayed or canceled, yes, jump in line with everybody else, but also get online. You might be able to change your flight using your phone. And number three, if your airline has an international number, try that because most people will be calling the domestic number for help. You might be able to get through to somebody quicker so you can get help. At MCO, Eric Von Aiken getting results through six. Now, late last year, the Federal Department of Transportation fined Southwest Airlines a record $140 million, largely to send a message. After Southwest's meltdown in 2022, the DOT said $90 million of that fine is supposed to go toward reimbursing Southwest passengers for future delays if the airline is at fault. Unfortunately, weather does not count.